Welcome to the AACS Daily News. Attleboro High School has selected two new athletes for the month of March, gymnast Juliana Baldoni and basketball player Brian Cicero. Velasquez out to Cicio, long ball, swish for Brian Cicio. My name is Brian Cicio, I'm a junior. I'm on the basketball team here at Attleboro High School and I got nominated for um, Student Athlete of the Month of February. This basketball season went really well. We ended the season 18 and four. We had a lot of big wins, and uh, early in the season, we were, we were really rolling over teams, and um, we had a big target on our back, so it's always good to have and keep that momentum going. I had a pretty good season personally. Um, I got named the Hockamock League All-Star and also a Sun Cronk League All-Star. I've been playing basketball basically my entire life, um, starting in like second grade. I ended up quitting hockey to play basketball, and my dad wasn't too happy about that, but you know, it paid off in the long run. But um, yeah, so I played, I've been playing AAU basketball travel for uh, since fifth grade. So I've been playing since fifth grade, and um, that's like a really competitive league that you travel, you travel, and you travel, and you travel, a lot of money. But um, yeah, so I get all my like. Callahan a lot of my inside the Q. Q double team gets it out to Sissio. Long ball for the right. Yes. Sissio hits. Another three pointer, three this half, Attleboro by Playing three. Playing basketball at High School is pretty amazing. The great, there's a great supporting cast from teachers, fans, students. It's, it's pretty awesome. My junior year, I got named a uh, junior captain, so there was a lot on the table and a lot of responsibility, but I thought I did a good job of maintaining the responsibility and leading a team to a good record. Being a leader on this team, I took that as a very important job. Um, Everyone needs to be held accountable. Everyone has the same standards. So in order to be a successful team, everyone needs to be on the same page. And I thought we did a great job of that this season. Uh, being chosen Student Athlete of the Month uh, feels very rewarding for, um, one, my hard work on the court and also in the classroom. So um, being able to be noticed for that, is, it's very honorable. I'd like to especially thank uh, Coach Hull and my teachers and everyone who was involved in choosing the Student Athlete of the Month. It's very honorable. My name is Juliana Baldani. I am a freshman here at Atterboro High, and I'm a gymnast who has been nominated for Student Athlete of the Month of February. Um, coming onto the team as a freshman, I was very nervous because there were a lot of upperclassmen, um, but I do club gymnastics, and I was able to work myself up in the lineup and get most of the last spots for my team and some good scores that would count towards the overall score. I have been doing gymnastics since I was four years old. It is a huge part of my life. It impacts me everywhere. Um, it's very competitive. I am traveling a lot. I do 30 plus hours a week at the gym. Um, yeah, I do it at O'Leary's Gymnastics Center in Norton. Um, our first meet, it was a good start. It was a little rough, but throughout the season, we definitely improved a lot. We got one of our highest scores, a 136. We definitely improved a lot, but there were some weak spots, but we were e able to work through them. Balancing the schedule was really hard with schoolwork, two hours of high school practice, and then three hours of club practice. Um, you had to put your priorities first, and if you didn't get one thing done for homework, it would impact you on the gym, and you would get stressed out about that. So I tried to manage my time well and try and get everything done so I wasn't as stressed out. Um, I'm hoping to move up levels this year during the summer, and I'm really excited for the next three years of my high school gymnastics team to see how much they can grow and all the new freshmen that we can get and new people. Um, I'd like to thank my coaches, Richie and Noel Butler, and my parents and my teammates who helped me through all of this. That's it for today's update. You can watch all of our content by visiting our website at doubleecs.com, by downloading the AACS mobile app, or if you have a Roku, you can search for the AACS Roku channel. For AACS News, I'm Austin Ricketts.